Welcome to the Digital Success for Business Growth Podcast. This is the number one place for entrepreneurs to learn proven marketing strategies to actually help you grow your business online. My name is Leanne Cohens. I am the Digital Success Coach and the owner of the agency Marketing Lead. And as a marketer, my focus is to actually help you lose the marketing overwhelm. In these podcasts, I will give you tools and strategies to help you springboard your business to success by sharing what I've learned in over 25 years as a marketer and over 30 years as a business owner and yes I started very young constantly applying what works over the last 10 years of running my digital agency by offering entrepreneurs like yourself business marketing strategies I believe that marketing is the single most important element when it comes to business success and that's what this podcast is all about helping you grow your business through proven effective modern marketing strategies so that you can help more people and make a lot more money doing it. Are you using email at all when it comes to your marketing strategy? Maybe you feel like building an email list from scratch is impossible. Well, today I'm going to be sharing some tips on how you can build your email list from scratch. Hello everyone, it's Leanne Cohens here, Digital Success Coach and owner of the agency Marketing Me. The reason that I do these training videos and educational videos is to demystify digital marketing for business owners and for entrepreneurs through you know, educational training, videos, courses, to actually give you marketing clarity and confidence when it comes to showing up online and growing your business online, as well as that, these are all marketing strategies that we use in my agency, Marketing Leap. We know they work. Today, we are talking about how to build an email list from scratch. Now, email marketing still offers an incredible return on investment, and it is a really great marketing channel. With your ROI being between $38 to $43 for every dollar that you spend, email marketing is a tactic that you really can't ignore. But with everything that's going on, online, you really do need to work harder when it comes to driving clicks and conversions. Here are five tips when it comes to building your email list from scratch. And I know it can seem impossible when you are starting out, but as I said, the best part of these particular tips means that you will build a really strong email subscriber base that will actually help you grow your business when it comes to showing up online and getting out to help and serve more people. The first thing that you need to do is to create a personalized CTA or call to action for each blog or each landing page that you have. Now, when people come to your blog post or they, they come to your website, they're looking for specific information. So your calls to action must actually satisfy whatever it is that they're looking for. So for example, if you have a, let's use, use this as an example, a list building strategy blog article and you're getting a lot of traffic, what you can do is then encourage visitors to join your email list by including a really straightforward call to action like click here to download a free list building toolkit. And creating high quality content is really great when it comes to personalized call to actions and to help them be effective. And it doesn't have to be expensive or time consuming. You can create all sorts of lead magnets, whether it's an ebook, a fun quiz. And if you're not too sure how to create a lead magnet, you can actually check out my previous video and I'll put the link in the captions below. But a personalized call to action actually enables you to segment or to tag your email list and ensures that when you are sending out your email newsletters, they're personalized and it makes people feel as if you're talking directly to them and not that you're sending out some kind of salesy, gimmicky advertising newsletter that uh, has nothing to do with what they want because all they're going to do is unsubscribe. But having it personalized and having your calls to action really targeted for that particular reader will actually make them feel as if what you're sending them is valuable, it's helpful, and it is a really great long-term retention strategy. Now, the second thing is your call to action should actually describe the value of whatever it is that they're clicking towards. So, and I know it's, uh, it seems a little bit paradoxical, but you know, just using words that purely just say sign up, 
people don't want to just sign up. They have enough emails already. You've actually got to give them a reason to give you their email address. So if you're using specific words like download or featured or exclusive or even access, that really clearly states the value that you're providing up front. So you could have a call to action that says access all our exclusive offers or download our exclusive ebook now. Both of these actually make it clear what that person's going to get in return for giving you their email address. And not only that, your website visitors and, and people that are actually subscribing to your email list, they need to understand how your emails are going to provide unique and exclusive content that it's either not out there already or it is really hard to find. So you want your subscribers to feel as if your business is sending them information and emails with a special offer. The third thing that you need to look at is, or that you can use, is to use your social media accounts to promote your email newsletter. So even if you don't have a huge subscriber base, you still have a network when it comes to showing up online. So why not use those solid and dependable connections to develop your email list? If you've got a following on, maybe not Twitter these days, but a fan base on Facebook or, or businesses that you correspond with via Instagram and LinkedIn, you can promote your email newsletter on your company's social media feeds. So the people who are actually following you on those particular platforms are becoming aware of the value that you offer through the posts that you do, but they might not have already subscribed to your email. So this is a great way of getting them to do that. You could look at giveaways and competitions. You know, brands are becoming a lot more approachable and relatable and interactive thanks to social media platforms. So looking at doing polls and quizzes uh, and even a Q&A on your Instagram stories can, number one, increase your user engagement, but from there, you can actually direct traffic to a landing page where your subscribers or your followers can then register to participate in a competition or a giveaway or even a short-lived special event. And that is then growing your database. And then the fourth thing you can do is look at referral programs. Now, referral programs encourage your customers to introduce new customers to your business by rewarding them. Now, typically, you would give a reward to both the referrer and the referee, but you only give the reward once the referrer enters their information or that makes a purchase. So allowing your database and allowing users to invite friends who share their interests, whether it's to a pre-sale event, is a great way of organizing a referral campaign. And then, you know, that's also a good way of, of getting in touch with these people without actually offering a discount. And then the fifth way is to build your email list offline. So even though your website is usually your best option when it comes to growing your email list, you don't have to rely on that wholeheartedly. Making the most of offline channels will actually help increase the size of your email list. And you can do that through sign-up sheets or a QR code at your checkout counter or in store if you're converting foot traffic into a mailing list for subscribers. And we're all have become very au fait and very comfortable with QR codes. So that is a great way of getting people to actually subscribe to your database. And you can get inventive and encourage people to sign up for stock updates or new arrivals if they ask for you know an item that's currently out of stock. So, you know, when you're gathering information as well. One thing you need to be very careful of is that you still have their full consent to send them information and to add them to your database. If your company sends out marketing material via direct mail, you could even, again, include the call to action or QR code that directs people to a page where they can subscribe to paperless news rather than having to go through the snail mail or the, the postal service. And a lot of people these days actually prefer receiving information about sales online and digitally rather than through the post. So there you go. Those are five ways that you can actually build your email list from scratch with email marketing. So I'll just do a quick recap. You can create a personalized call to action for each blog and each landing page. Your call to action should be describing the value of them actually giving you their email address. 
You can use social media accounts to promote your email and newsletter. You can use referral programs. And then you can also build your list offline and uh, use QR codes as well. And as the saying goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So now is the best time to get a strategic plan so you can hit the ground running. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you grow your business and how you can have a successful 2023, comment below and let's have a chat. Because whether it's a strategy session or joining me for one of the two VIP planning days that I have coming up, or even joining the Digital Success Academy, comment below because then I can give you some, some key information on how you can grow your business. If you don't want to do it yourself and you want done for you through the Agency Marketing Lit, we also offer a full range of realistic, practical marketing solutions that we actually know work from websites, SEO, social media management, paid media ads, and lead generation that will deliver results and hit the spots with your customers. And of course, everything that I do is actually designed to give you clarity, generate leads and stop you drowning in the overwhelm. So I hope that has been of some value for you today. And I'd love it if you join me next week when I talk about and show you four email marketing automations that you can use in your small business. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to the Digital Success for Business podcast. Make sure you join us each week as we discuss proven marketing strategies to help you grow your business online. And don't forget to jump on and subscribe so you get notified every single time a new podcast episode goes live.